you are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it.
are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? No. Exactly! Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but... Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... is that even a word? Habitable. Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track.
Experiment 1006, the prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Someone need a hug? Give me a big squeeze. I promise I won't bite. Come closer, friend. I'll squeeze you until you...
Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Obey the rules. 
or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit.
birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> Make a wish. Happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Oh, happy, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! I know when your birthday is! June 28th! <laughs> Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. Round five. Blue heart, blue tangerine, 
Gravity Smiley Face Bergen Snow Flight Massive Red Smiley Face 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 It broke. That's no fun. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Look hard. Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. Wanna hear a dino joke? Click once for the question, click again for the punchline. <laughs> what do you call a dino with one eye? Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> what do you call a dinosaur who's a noisy sleeper? A Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> what do you call the scariest dinosaur? Me! Wanna hear a dino joke? Click once for the question, click again for the punchline! <laughs>
preparing for departure in three, two, one. Choo -choo! Whoa, you did fantastic. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. another hint for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Press the button to feed me candy. Hum nom nom. Feed me more. Hum nom nom nom. More, more candy. Hum nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. Hum nom nom. I said no more. Nom nom nom! Stop! Nom nom nom! <laughs> Click the button to feed me candy!
played these before. You're so good. Seems like you're ready for the final game, Statues. Follow Mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck.
Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, blue. of... Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. Okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing.
That's boogie. Am I a real boy? The robot crossed the road. He was programmed to do it. I love you. Do you love me? Dance with me. The button hurts me. <laughs> Let's b -b -b boogie. The following is a pre recorded announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist, and that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways, end quote. Regardless, you can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Complaining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs.
make me part of you! You can't do this to me! Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log.
loose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you're capable. We will. What if... Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and... Seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Now with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done Will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap.
right, Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, luck any not, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Not Mary's heaven, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lids. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand in mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh, I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her, see how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vitals show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. Hey, I remember you. An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? <laughs> I'm Bubba Bubbafint. Hey, I remember you. outside before. Will you come with me? I'm scared. Here, follow me. I'll step out first. Each answer was different. 
and I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. And after all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface, dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? It's me again, Ali. Cool place, right? The kids used to live here. Now look at it. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of Playcare. I can give you a key down there. to the gas production zone, the beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the red smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that red smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done.
Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity... Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, 
Finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. We want to make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now. Let's get you on back to bed. Oh, okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better.
Maggie. Let's eat. Roast beef? Delicious. Grilled chicken? Down the hatch. Seared elephant? Yum! Played unicorn? Mmm! Still hungry. Hey, what do you say you and I be friends? There. I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. the monsters away. Two hugs a day is better in every way. Hugging forever. Hugs are non-stop. I'm gonna hug you until you hug. <laughs> hug a day 
keeps the monsters away. here to help <sighs> this place makes her tense I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far he's the reason we found you at all looks like the train crash hurt us both <sighs> you've been through so much you deserve an explanation come on Be okay. We'll be okay. you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you. We can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you. Who've tortured us. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original. The prototype. 
Do the honors. The prototype knows we're coming by now. Try to escape? He'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you. How capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. you? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Hmm? 
Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy.
What's that, Richie? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Guys, hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, Stu. <laughs> Sorry? That doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, I'm trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. <laughs> You're just different. Rich. Honest to a fault. But I always like that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Hmm. You know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, hmm, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm actually thinking about giving the role to you. Really? Yeah, really. Nothing official yet, but I think there's a decent guy beneath all that gruff. An honest, hard-working man. You prove me right? Uh, I'd say your chances are pretty good. Wow, I, uh, gee, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just... Glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody.
Want to know how much I love you? I love you to the moon and back. I'm crazy about you. I'm lost without you. I've been lost a long time. Please, take me with you this time. You won't leave me, will you? Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? Okay, this is Catnap, uh, experiment number 1188. What's his real name again? Ah, okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, Theo. How you doing, bud? Normally I'd have Dr. Sawyer do this, but he's, uh, out, let's say. So you got me until they find his replacement. First off, congrats. This is officially your fourth year in your new body, and you've made some real progress, pal. I was told that when you and the other smiling critters, you know, dog day, picky picky, yada yada yada, were added into play care, that you weren't really getting along too well with the kids like everybody else was. But look at you now. The kids love you. And that red smoke, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? Is his, uh, voice thingy still broken? Theo, nobody's gonna save you. This prison is where you belong. We'll let you out here and there to go see the kids in play care, but your home is here. And as for the prototype, his home is in the labs. This is your life now. Get used to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pappy's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird catnaps from the angel. They are home. A mermaid pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little. What feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. They says. Shadow and every flickering light 
is a hiding spot. He always stalks his prey first. He'll take away anything you have to defend yourself. And when you're at your most vulnerable, he'll kill you. Catnap lives for the hunt. Good luck. Talk soon. I'm Hoppy Hopscotch. Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? Hi there. I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. What they says? Fetch. Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? Hey, I'm Chicken Chicken. Wanna go outside and hang out? Hi, Bubba Bubbafint. Hey, I remember you. Hi, I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? Pass me the blue, please. Message is for all Playtime Company employees. At 11.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. If no exit path is available, seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body, and remain silent. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. Do not make eye contact.
please have a seat. How was your ride down? It was uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home? Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing! You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry.
what's happened here?
Log code 24459. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. Stubborn as he is, and always silent with each passing session, I'm still uncovering fresh data nonetheless. Today's discovery... Hmm. End of log. Hmm. Ready to talk now, are you? I possess... A question. Go ahead. Do you feel anything? <sighs> this question referred to what exactly? You stick us. Beat us. Tear our flesh. Do you feel it? There is a secret inside you, 1006. Valuable beyond all measure. I cut and prod and burn at it. And I get closer with each session. So speak. Oh, don't. Fight! Or give in. Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. <laughs> it excites me. Thank you. You thank me? Absolutely. I learn something new about you every day.
Good, you're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place, thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then... Then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This. This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. it was all over. They dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this. For everything. As we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> Alright. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... 